Greetings and salutations, welcome to a brand new Fantasy Premier League episode. So another quick update, talk about what I've done with my team, what transfers I've made, how badly or well I've done, and obviously talk about the fixtures at the weekend, see who we've got coming up. So, game week 5 was pretty horrific for me, 43 points. The only person that saved me was my captain Sanchez, who got 20 points, almost half my points, which is scary bad. Um, but then last week, a massive 72 points. Very, very happy with that. Everybody played well. Uh, Sanchez or kept his captain. A little bit of a gamble. Obviously, there was they were playing a big team, so I thought he might not do as well. But just the way Arsenal was sort of starting to play, I thought he'd get the points. And uh, he picked me up 28 points. Mane got seven as well. Bellerin did really well with 11. Pogba finally got a goal with eight. And Christian Benteke with seven. Very, very happy with that week. So I'm actually in the top 10 of my league. And I'm, if I can finish top 10, I would be beyond delighted. Well, I don't know what's beyond delighted, but I would be that. So we've got the Invincibles uh, top with 353 this week. Um, then he's always an 18-point lead. Okay, Giblets has been up there since the beginning. We've got Stoke Mongo, lovely name. Um, a bunch of good teams here. I'm I'm ninth. I'm happy with that. 72. There was no massive scorers this week um, from what I could have a look. Nobody beat the record, which is 92 points. Remember, there's a £10 prize for somebody who has the best week. Eggfoid Royce got 79 points, which is really good. That's probably one of the best scores of the week. Havana Laugh, 76 points. They're the sort of two best scores. So I was like third or fourth in the best scores. Very happy with that. Giblets had a poor week. You know... From his high standards that he has, um, 56, he, he, that, that's made him sort of drop off the lead there a little bit. Uh, but um, let's have a look at the girlfriend, see what she's doing. Midge's Marauders, um, Curly, my girlfriend, she's got 52 points, so she's up into the top half. She wanted to be top 50 of the league, so then she could appear on the first page. So that's what she's done. Um, our bottom team is currently the Killers, Alton Hansen. Minus 32. Obviously lots of changes in that team. But doing alright. So let's um, have a look at my team and the transfers this week. So <clears throat> last week didn't make a single transfer. I was relatively happy with the team. There was nobody horribly injured. I thought I'd save it up because you can carry one over to have two transfers in a week. So I thought let's not just make a transfer for the sake of it. So today um, I went in to look and I'd, so I've made one tra transfer. So in my genius... I thought to myself, well, now that Pogba is scoring goals, I'm going to remove him from my team. I'll keep him in while he's crap, get rid of him when he's good. That's my logic there. But we did bring in Lalana, the on-form Lalana. We know he's got bags in his locker. He scored plenty for Southampton. He's never really reproduced that for Liverpool. But it, there's signs. He's probably one of the most improved players under Klopp. And I think he's if he if you want a good player that's not too expensive, um, how much is him? Does it say here how much he is? 7.2 million. I think that's an absolute bargain for the way he's playing football at the moment. So let's have a look at the fix. And then um, Costa and Benteke up top. It'll do. Um, <laughs> I have one transfer still left over because I didn't use it up. So I'm going to carry that forward to next week. So the, the games this week, Everton, Crystal Palace. Um, should be a win for Everton, shouldn't it? Swansea, Liverpool. Hopefully we just carry on the way we're playing and we'll destroy them. Hull, Chelsea. Chelsea should win, although they've looked a bit... Dodgy. Um, Sunderland West Brom, that's going to be an interesting one. Not not got a clue. Depends on all about how many goals Defoe scores because he seems to be the only decent player in the Sunderland team. Sorry, Sunderland fans, but it's true. Um, Watford Bournemouth, that'll be a that be a close game, I think. That'd be a very good game. West Ham are desperately in need of a win. I think Billich has probably got three games before he's sacked. And then on the Sunday, we've got Man United versus Stoke. Stoke have really struggled to start this season. Liverpool, uh, Leicester, Southampton, which will be a really good game. Spurs, Man City is the big one of the weekend, I think. That's going to be a fascinating game. And Burnley, Arsenal. So let's look at who, who would be a good captain. So Arsenal playing Burnley, so I think I might just keep Sanchez as my captain, I think. Um, the other options, who do I think is going to really thrash somebody? <laughs> Man United, Stoke. I could... Have I got any Man United players? No. Because I got rid of Pogba. But if I was to have Ibra or somebody like that, then that would be my captain for the week. Um, any of the Man United... I, I was tempted to get Rashford in. Um, 
Now sort of Rooney's been dropped. I don't know if Rashford's going to get quite enough game time. He's quite cheap, so I might get him as a third ch option on the bench. Um, but yeah, I think I'll keep it at Sanchez. He's been doing wonders for me, so we're going to keep him as the captain. He's in the dream team. Everybody loves him. So let me know what changes you've made um, in the comments below. I'll be really interested to know what changes you've made to your team this week. Has it all gone horribly wrong? Have half your team got injured? That's always, that's always a fun time, isn't it, when you realise four of your players have just got injured. Um, and just let me know what you think about this week and what the scores are going to be in the Premier League. Um, we'll pick one game in particular to stand out for. What is going to be that game result? Spurs versus Man City. I'm going to say... A two all draw. Man City looked a little bit dodgy at Celtic in the week. And I think... They could let in a couple of goals. Um, other, you know, Pep might kick them up the arse and they might be fine. But I think it's going to be two. I think Spurs are a very good team. So, But let me know what you think, guys. Thank you very much, guys. Check in in two weeks' time for an update. Well done to everybody that's doing well in the league. You know, you can't all be top ten. You know, you can't all be as, as good as me. So, you know, but just, just one day. One day you might make it. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. I love you all. Please hit that like button. Subscribe. Bloody blah, blah, blah.